You know, I think the reason people do things can be really interesting, especially when the thing they're trying to do is really challenging. It's like a little glimpse into what really drives that person, right? And sometimes by knowing what drives other people, it can spark something in you. Hey everyone, my name's Jake, I'm a mechanical engineer, and I'm here with the first-hand knowledge that you need to get any degree you want. And today, we're gonna to talk about the three reasons why I chose to study mechanical engineering. But before we jump into it, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and maybe leave a comment with your thoughts and questions you might have. That kind of stuff really helps the channel grow. Uh, and if you're looking for a deeper dive into how I improved my GPA from a 2.0 all the way to a 3.8 and ended up graduating with a master's in mechanical engineering, be sure to check out my book. It's helping a lot of students. I'm getting a ton of good feedback. Uh, go see the Amazon reviews and see for yourself. Um, it's available in ebook and paperback right now and audiobook very soon. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for the support. Okay, so let's jump right into the three reasons why I chose to study mechanical engineering. Starting with reason number one, which was genuine interest in the material. I was always that kid growing up who, you know, took things apart and put them back together just to see how they worked. Um, I could never have enough Legos or Connects or Lincoln Logs. Uh, I was always pretty mechanically inclined and, you know, building physical things was really therapeutic and came natural to me. So I think mechanical engineering was, was calling me from a very young age. I've always really been interested in science in general, but mostly physics. Physics has really intrigued me since a really young age. Um, you know, learning about the physical world and how things interact and, and the laws that govern those interactions has always really kind of sparked my interest. You know, growing up, the days in elementary school where we would just watch Bill Nye the Science Guy, like, were my favorite days, right? And some of you watching this video might not know Bill Nye the Science Guy, go look him up. He's freaking awesome. If you don't like it, uh, something's wrong with you. Bill Nye's awesome, okay? Uh, I'd always come home and, you know, be so excited to tell my parents what I learned from Bill Nye that day. Okay, quick little side story about Bill Nye. So, one time in elementary school, we watched a Bill Nye episode where he was he crushed a big barrel using hot water, cold water, and just atmospheric pressure. So it was so cool, I went home and I wanted to do it myself, right? So I took a, a milk jug and I put it in ice cold water and I took a long funnel and I tried to put boiling water into the milk jug through this long funnel and it wasn't going into the milk jug, duh. So I looked over the top of the funnel and it freaking exploded into my face. Boiling water straight into my face. Uh, I had to go to the school the next day and explain to all my friends, you know, why the skin on my forehead was peeling off. Long story short, Bill Nye is awesome, but be careful with trying his experiments at home. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to it. Uh, first reason for pursuing mechanical engineering was I was genuinely interested in the material. So I was always mechanically inclined. I loved building things, taking things apart, putting them back, to back together. Um, always interested in science and physics. Now, it's important to note that, you know, the mechanical stuff came naturally to me. I was always really good at, you know, putting things together, taking them apart. Um, but I wasn't good at physics, science, or math, okay? I always really struggled with those classes and subjects in school. Uh, there's a big difference between being interested in something and being good at that thing, right? So, it really took me a long time, all, I mean, into college, before I really started to be good at those things. I really had to work on it. And, you know, now that I think about it, that's really a lot of what this channel is about, and my book for that matter. It's about learning and developing yourself to be good at the things you need to be good at in order to pursue the things you're interested in, right? But with that, let's jump into reason number two. Okay, the second reason I decided to pursue mechanical engineering was the challenge of the degree. I'm, I've always kind of been hard-headed and a little bit stubborn. So when something comes along that's difficult or a challenge, right? 
that inner voice inside me really starts to chirp. Hey, so uh, we're totally gonna send this, right? I mean, what are you, some kind of wussy boy? Some of you might be able to relate to that voice, and as you can imagine, sometimes it's gotten me into trouble. <laughs> but, but for the most part, um, I think it's really helped out. It's really, you know, pushed me to try things that are really challenging and to kind of jump into things that other people find scary or difficult. And you know, over the years, I've learned that, you know, by listening to that voice, by pushing myself into the things that are really challenging and, you know, throwing myself at the stuff that's really difficult and other people really aren't doing, um, I've learned that that offers the purest level of fulfillment. Wow. So when the idea to pursue engineering came along, now that was a true challenge, right? Especially for someone like me. If you watched my other videos, you know that uh, I was not someone who, my academic performance was not representative of someone who would pursue engineering, right? So, you know, the challenge was definitely there. And that was really enough for me. When something comes along that, that offers me a real test like that, uh, I want to see if I can do it. I actually just posted a longer video about this exact topic, you know, about how the challenge of studying engineering or some other STEM discipline shouldn't scare or intimidate you. It should help motivate you, right? Uh, I'll put a link for that one in the description. But with that, let's move on to the third and final reason that I chose to study mechanical engineering. And that is, engineers are paid very well to be creative. Solving problems with my own creativity has always brought me a lot of happiness, right? It really makes me feel uh, valuable and fulfilled. Even if it's just something simple at home, like reorganizing my garage or, you know, figuring out how to teach you guys about neuroplasticity. That kind of stuff makes me feel really good. So by becoming an engineer, I knew that I'd be able to monetize that, right? Be able to monetize my own creative problem solving. Um, one of the most like fundamental and primary roles that an engineer plays is solving problems that don't have solutions yet. So they're expected to utilize or combine their education, their technical education with their own creativity to create useful and unique solutions to problems. What more could you ask for? And if that wasn't enough, engineers are paid very well for their efforts. You know, the average salary for an engineer right now in the United States is around $97,000. That's very respectable. And I would be lying to you if the promise of a very healthy paycheck didn't motivate me, because it did. You know, money has the power to do a lot of things. It can help you provide for your family. It can give you a lot of peace of mind. And, you know, it really supplies a lot of freedom in your life. So it definitely played a huge factor in my decision. And I'm sure it does in yours as well. But, you know, there's a lot of things that, that can pay a lot. I mean, I could have been a dentist, right? But when engineering offered the unique uh, path for me to be paid while being creative and being able to pursue what I was interested in, um, that's really what did it for me. So there you have it. Those are my three reasons for pursuing engineering. So we had genuine interest in the material, the challenge of the degree itself, and being paid well to be creative. Okay, so I lied to you guys. Um, as I was making this video, I thought, you know, there's really one more reason that I decided to study engineering, and I thought it was too important to not include at the end of this video. So here's a little bonus, reason number four that I decided to study engineering, and that is, avoidance of regret. If there's one feeling that I absolutely hate in this life, it's the feeling of regret. I cannot stand feeling regretful over decisions I've made or not made. Maybe some of you can relate to that. Um, but when it came to engineering school, I knew that I would regret at least not giving it a try. So, you know, I also knew that the chances of me graduating and succeeding were, were probably pretty low, but I also knew that if I looked back without trying, that I would really beat myself up for it. So I would have rather tried and failed 
than regretted not trying at all. But what about you guys? What's pushing you down this road? You know, let me know in the comments below. I'm always interested to see, you know, what drives people toward this stuff. And either way, I think it's a good, you know, exercise to think about and really nail down what's driving you down this path because, you know, your motivation will be where you get a lot of your energy from. And you're going to need a lot of energy to get through engineering or some other STEM degree, right? So I think it's a good exercise for you to really nail down what's driving you toward this. I actually did a longer video on this exact topic and I'll link for that in the description. But that's it for now. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. But until next time, thanks for watching and keep up the good work.